Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and the big tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for January 12th, 2022. If you like support channel, you will hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll stop by looking at the S&P 500, and this was an absolutely amazing day. Actually, the last two days have been amazing for the S&P 500 and also the Nasdaq. It looked really grim after this fairly big pullback here of roughly 5.3%, but the 100 moving average was basically like a brick wall for the S&P 500. It has been the last three times we have tested it, it has basically bounced significantly. At this current stage, we are above the 20 exponential moving average. We have cleared that. If we manage to take out this candlestick kind of here, then it's very likely that we'll go back to the all-time highs here and then probably also beyond that as we have um, basically seen that these ma major pullbacks have been bought into but if we get another uh, pullback then it will most likely uh, be bought into as well as the federal reserve still has the markets back and as long as that is the case uh, this trend will continue and they're also talking about a long expansion meaning that we'll probably see a similar trend like this continuing far into the future probably won't have the same extreme slope as this one probably have a minor slope uh, similar to what we saw after the great recession uh, but we're still uh, they are still focusing on a, um, uh, a long expansion for the market if you look at the technical indicators we can see that macd is still bearish the rsi is also bearish the cci is bearish stochastic is bearish and we are just at the middle of the bullish band so um you'll probably see movement in these uh, technical indicators tomorrow when the market open if it opens above the 20 exponential yet again we may see a pullback to the middle here and then continuing higher but it's very clear that uh, this moves these moves here these pullbacks are basically buying on the dips opportunity which people are taking advantage of if you look at, for example, the, the big uh, FANG stocks or the tech stocks, you can see that Amazon is doing really well. It is up 2.4%. The same goes for Facebook, same goes for Tesla, same goes for Microsoft, uh, Netflix, and so on. All of them are doing re really well. So we'll look closer at that when we have analyzed the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ, as you can see, it pierced through the 150 moving average and then there was a lot of buying around this area here, which is roughly 15,200, give or take. And now we're trading at 15,844 and above the 100 moving average, uh, way past the, basically this consolidation, consolidation zone. And at this point, it is more likely that we'll see this market continue to the all-time highs here, roughly 4.8% to the upside or to 16,600 or 16,400, give or take, is probably where we'll see some resistance and this will pull back. And if we manage to break above this, then we are looking at a market that most likely will head towards 17,500. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is turning around in negative territory. RSI is flat, the CCI is still negative, stochastic is turning around, almost crossing the signal line, but still in negative territory. You can see how far we went outside of the bullish band here. And as I pointed out um, yesterday, every single time we go this far outside the bullish band, we have a major rally for quite some time. We can see it here. This was a rally of roughly 16% to the upside. We have uh, additional rallies here of roughly 5%, 6% to the upside. One is right here, uh, yet again, 6% to the upside. So expectations when we have basically hit rock bottom is that we are going to see quite a big rally. And if we manage to break out of this you know, all-time high here, then 17,500 will most likely be the target. So yes, a very impressive for, for the NASDAQ and um, Due to the fact that we did bounce here is also um, a signal that uh, this market is still going to continue this trend to the upside and not going to break down as well uh, a lot of people were expecting it to do. So if we look at Amazon, we can see that it had a really good day up at 2.4% and uh, that was also expected after this major 
uh, rally here just at the end of the session yesterday. So Amazon may uh, head towards the top of the bullish band. That's an additional 4.7% to the upside. And then it is basically past the 50 moving average. And then it may probably go to the all-time highs here. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, still negative. The RSI is flat. The CCI is bearish and the stochastic is bearish as well. But uh, passing above the 50 moving average, then it's very close to going to the all-time highs. So Facebook, one of my favorite stocks, which I also bought into in around this dip. I've basically been buying it uh, when it has been falling, but also down here and something that I will hold on for a very long time. So we had a very good day, roughly 2% to the upside. And it, we basically need to break above the 150 moving average in order to go back to these highs. Expectations for the for, for, uh, for next uh, four months not four months, 12 months, I'm supposed to say, is basically above $400. And uh, um, if we manage to break above here and take out the previous highs here, then yes, that is uh, fairly likely that this will surpass $400. It has been uh, basically in a slum, but the 300 moving average is holding quite significantly, and uh, that is a very good sign. MACD is becoming bullish, RSI is bullish, um, CCI is still negative, Stochastic is becoming bullish, and we may rally another 4% to the upside before we find any kind of resistance. So Tesla is basically flat today, nothing really interesting here. And we're running into resistance here at the 50 moving average. But if we manage to break above that, then we will most likely target 1211. Um, and that is going to be a huge ask in order to get past this barrier. Um, uh, my guess for Tesla is that this stock will trade sideways for the foreseeable future. Uh, similar to what Amazon did uh, last uh, in 2021. Um, but never say never uh, when it comes to Tesla, because uh, all of a sudden you can have this ex uh, massive rally like this, and people just hold on to the stock, even though it is <laughs> significantly overvalued. So Microsoft, my one of my favorite stock as well, also bought it down here in the, in the very lows, and now it is rallying yet again. So this is a stock that every single time it basically dips, whether or not to the 200 moving average, 150 moving average and so on, it's basically a buying opportunity and you hold it for technically forever as it is also, um, yeah, it's basically a, a stock that you basically hold in and so on. So this is definitely a stock I will not, not sell for the foreseeable future. If you look at the MACD, it's still bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI, CCI is bearish, the CASI is bearish as well. And there's a lot of room to the upside. First, middle of the bullish band, 4% to the upside, break above the 50 moving average, and then we may go back to the very highs, and that's a rally of roughly 10% to the upside. And break above there, uh, uh, basically this triple top here, and then we're talking about heading towards $400 and beyond. So Netflix, uh, definitely a stock that has been absolutely crushed recently. It fell roughly 25, 24% to the downside, and now it is starting to rally a little bit. This is probably a stock that people are going to uh, pay attention to in the, um, in the next few sessions, as it has been absolutely slaughtered. There are several stocks in the NASDAQ that, um, that have, they're still earning money and have lost 50%, uh, 25, 50% of the value. Um, some of them that have lost even more than that, that don't really earn that uh, earn money yet, uh, those uh, stocks are probably the most riskiest to to go invest. But uh, but big uh, tech is um, usually the safe bet when they basically pull back because these are uh, mega corporations that are not going to go anywhere. MACD is still uh, bearish, uh, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is uh, stochastic. But break above the 300 moving average, then we may see this grind back to the upside in the next few months. Apple also bounced from the 40 moving average above the 20 exponential, and now it's most likely going to head you back to where the all them highs, and after that, towards the $200. Well, it's Apple. People are, love the stock, and they're basically buying the dip. Um, that's probably also a very good idea. Uh, expected this to fall towards the 50 moving average, but no, it didn't really get anywhere close to that. It will most likely find resistance here, around 4.3% uh, to the upside, as the all-time highs as well. 
Technical leadership activity is bearish. RSI is flat. CCI is uh, flat. Uh, stochastic is uh, bearish. And yes, um, after this move to the upside, it probably takes uh, uh, one or two days before these technical leaders turn around. So Google, uh, also one of the stocks that I bought into down here when it hit the 200 moving average. It is uh, heading towards 150 and has broken above that. And next target will be the 150 moving average as well. There's still a lot of room to the upside before you find any uh, major resistant uh, in this stock. So, hope you find this helpful. You can support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck again. Thank you very much.